Hello competition tubers and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 with me Blue Ankylo. In today's episode we're hopefully going to crush the AI, buy out their companies and make them go home to mama. <laughs> In our last episode we, uh, well we already had our Edinburgh route connected and we've just been sort of connecting out some of the little trailers on the outside of our main lines. Um, I had a quick look in the ledger. Our trains are all making money, uh, so we don't have to worry about removing any routes right now. Some are more profitable than others. The ones that are really profitable, you could probably be smart and double up um, and add more uh, trains to it or something. Like this one is doing quite well, for instance. This is the Cambridge to London line. Um, it doesn't look that special, but I guess a lot of goods wants to move between those two. Uh, so if I check out Cambridge here, um, it doesn't even look all that special. It's just sending grain to London and passengers and stuff. It's because it's kind of like our trunk. Lots of uh, trains are going to go up and down that. Um, it's probably even like Kingston to Cambridge train is probably doing quite well as well. Just because you have to use that connection to get anywhere. This guy, Cambridge to Kingston, it's probably making pretty good money as well. Maybe. Actually, let's just give it a couple ticks and see how much stuff is coming down from Kingston. And maybe I'll add a train or two here, just to just to keep the goods flowing. Yeah, like that's pretty high, uh, that's pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll double the Cambridge to Kingston route. I'll add uh, opposite direction, try to keep it uh, moving basically, keep the goods flowing. Give it the Firefly, and I will also add a uh, London train. I'd like to go the opposite direction. Where is it? It's currently... Oh, someone else is doing it too, probably. Norwich. Where is it going to Norwich? It's going all the way from London to Norwich? Wow, that thing's valuable. Wow, wow. Well. Oh, well. Obviously, the AI can go through spreadsheets much quicker than I can. That's the Canberra and London route. It's actually not making a ton of money right now. It must be the other direction. Anyway, I'm going to add one more train on that route, just for now, and uh, hopefully after that it comes back, and then I want to repair up. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that helps eat out uh, uh, the competition. Mainly one of the things is I want to make sure I'm, even if I'm not making a ton of money, every shipment I do is one less that the AI can make, is kind of uh, my thinking here. Anyway, let's get the speed rolling. Uh, we do need to continue making personal profit. Um, what I might do is for one company I'll just buy them out flat out and then maybe the other one I'll try to get the majority personally and then use that to make it cheaper. Okay, so now we're down to depression rather than a, a full-on recession. It's probably a good idea to buy now. It's pretty likely the value of the stocks is going to improve because we're going to be leaving a depression and heading into us hopefully all the way up to a boom. And at that time, our, uh, our, we'll want to have lots of stocks. It's also a good time to buy back stock when it's during a recession, because it's cheaper. So, um, you know, there we go, we'll buy back a little bit more. All right, we've got a Crampton, a new train. It looks like it's going to be faster on the flat stretches. Um, not quite as cool, though. So hold on, let's, let's have a quick comparison. I've been using the Firefly. Uh, we could switch it up to the Crampton, it's more expensive. Uh, but it does have better fuel economy and better acceleration. Acceleration is very important for average speed because every time you're leaving a station, turning a corner, starting a hill, acceleration is what makes you get up to your top speed, obviously. It's actually more reliable. I will lose 15% of my revenue from passengers, unfortunately, uh, but uh, it is faster. Not only is it more acceleratory, it's definitely a good seven clicks or miles, I guess, faster on the straight stretch. Um, although with lots of cars, it's less noticeable. Actually, I like to pick six cars most of the time. 48 compared to 39, that's a good improvement. And on hills, well, it's a little bit faster. Not great. <laughs> so I think that's a pure upgrade. I want to basically do that to all my car, all my trains, other than the booths. The booths are still my steep ones. The, the Crampton's not that great. It's a good upgrade to the Firefly, though. So what I'll do is I'll try to save up... Well, how much am I going to need, actually? That's a good question. Uh, upgrade, replace. We're going to replace all Fireflies to Cramptons. Will cost me 2.1 million. So we're going to have to save up a little bit for that. But it's new. It's new and shiny, and we make 2 million in no time, right? 
And then we'll go back to making more tracks. Also, a lot of my old fireflies are really old. I think I noticed in the ledger, some of them are like 15 years old. So their, uh, their age gets up. It actually lowers their... Um, we'll upgrade that guy to a Crampton right now. It lowers their... Um, or increases their breakdown chance as they get really old. So, you yeah. know. Anyway, now I only need 2 million, thanks to replacing that one. Hopefully. Almost there. I'll make it certainly before the end of the year, no problem. I said certainly, yeah, certainly, okay, good, <laughs> um, yeah, so go replace all fireflies, oh, I have Adlers, do I seriously have an Adler, I must have accidentally built an Adler somewhere and forgotten about it, all right, all fireflies to Cramptons, two million, do it, also, where is this Adler, is this an Adler, that's a booth, must have accidentally put it in there. Yeah, how did I get that guy? Adler 222. I should not have been using that train. Alright. Must have just accidentally clicked it at one point. Upgrade to Crampton. Much, much better. Look at that lovely engine there. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Alright, all our trains will be slightly faster, more reliable. But it will decrease our passenger revenue just a titch. Just a titch. Ah, all right. So, what's next? Um, I was thinking of doing a, a Birmingham to to Liverpool route. Is there any profit in that route? Because the AI already has it. It's just comp competing with them. Uh, oh, I guess I'm at the end of the year. Okay, we'll pause after this. Salary is the same. I got a bonus though, which is nice. Actually, overall revenue keeps going down. A lot of it will be the overhead increasing. Um. Probably once we're into a boom, it'll look nicer. Miscellaneous cost, what was that? Oh, buying new trains, probably. <laughs> Something like that. All right, first off, what I want to see. From Liverpool, is there any value in going to Birmingham? Um, goods need to get down there. Mail needs to get down there. Milk, not so much. The I know the AI is doing milk like crazy. Um, cotton could move. Or does not want to move. Hmm. Well, I have a train track that gets, well, it kind of dead ends right there. It actually might be difficult to get that out. Um, and I can bulldoze it backwards a little bit and then try to get a bridge here. But it, oh yeah, I can get a bridge. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Yeah, like that. <coughs> And then we'll make a parallel route to the AI and connect up to our station. There you go. So that gives us our first kind of loop if I wanted to do a loop. And uh, we'll just do a Liverpool to uh, Birmingham train here. Although it doesn't have a uh, anywhere to oil up or anything, unfortunately. Shoot. I put those back by Northampton, forgetting about this. Oh well. Also, I probably should have doubled this track too. Oh well, we've got lots of money. It does e add to maintenance and stuff by adding in this kind of thing in, but... Now it's done. Also, I'm just 1,000 short of being able to uh, actually buy what I want. Okay, add my train. This will be Liverpool Junction to Birmingham Junction. Always Junction when it's the second one in the... Uh, second second uh, station in a town. We'll stick with the Crampton, I like it. Alright. And that's going to make some money. Yeah, that'll be fine. And that, and also, the way I like to think about it, that every one of those profits is one less, a little bit more difficult for the AI to make on that same route. You know, it's just going to make it a little bit harder for them. So we want their profits to go down, even if it's not the most optimal thing for us to build profit-wise. That's how it works, right? I think I was also talking about doing a bath connection, because it's kind of big. So let's see, how could we get from Oxford to Bath? We can make a small bridge. It's not the best idea. Um, can I... Can I delete any of this without killing the station? Well, the economy's doing good. That's nice to hear. Yeah, I can't destroy this or else the station won't work. So that's not going to happen. 
Um, I guess we're gonna have to make a small bridge just because it's just a little bit too close to the water here, unfortunately. It's a little bit sad, but after that, we'll be able to just work our way down to Bath, no problem. Okay. And I might even do Gloucester, Gloucester at the same time. Probably what I want to do is go down this way, and then that way, assuming I can put a station there, I can also connect up to Portsmouth on my own tracks without having to use theirs. I'm not going to give them any money if I can help it. I'll even afford the... I'll splurge on the big station. Why not? Alright, so I think I will actually put the maintenance over here. Because what I will do at the same time is I'll connect to Gloucester through Oxford. And then there's nowhere else to go, so it can kind of just dead end. That'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing with that river, so... Just got to get about that close, and then I can build a station. And a medium station looks perfect. Good. Alright, so I'll add maybe a couple trains. You know, we'll double track it. This is going to be expensive, but uh, I'll double track it nonetheless. And add some trains. Okay. The reason I'm putting all these single short ones in here is, like I said, to compete with the AI, just to steal their goods away as much as possible. Alright. We'll go Bath to Oxford on my route. Go. Crampton's good. And then we'll add Gloucester to Oxford as well. Alright. Good. More more blue blue mobiles. More blue mobiles. Yeah. And that should assuming they fill up at all. It's just taking yeah, it's just taking their goods out of those stations that they can't get access to. It's not gonna make me a ton of money. But it's going to make me a little bit. Hopefully it'll pay off. It'll pay for its own route, hopefully. And it gets that livestock out of Gloucester so they don't have a chance to pick it up. <laughs> That's the theme of today's episode, obviously. Um, also the theme is... Doing stuff like this. Buying back stock. Buying back stock so I don't go bankrupt. Because it's a little bit dangerous here. Uh, I have bought most of it, though. 73000 to go and I'll have everything... Well, other than the AI enemy cheats that have a little bit. Um, I could make a Bath to Portsmouth train. I mean, that's probably a smart route. The AI putting that in there was not dumb. I've doubled up most of the stuff up here. Birmingham. I, I have a couple routes through Birmingham. Not bad. I mean, they made this stupid bridge. It's even a wood bridge, so that seems horribly wasteful. Um, yeah, you know, Bath down to Portsmouth is probably not a bad idea, so I will put one in. I can connect it up fairly easily. I already have a track down here. Yeah, just like that. Bam, and I can connect up. That one actually makes really good sense. Portsmouth to Bath Junction. Yeah, shouldn't have even really delayed on that. That makes perfect sense. It'll compete directly with one of their main routes that they built. I could even put two trains on that if I wanted. And I don't have to pay them to use my station. <laughs> Got to put our capital to good use, basically. So that's actually a pretty good route. Blue stock speed splits again. All right. Makes us another route we could get to London through. Uh, increase my salary. Good. Uh, we are actually making more money. All these little routes are actually improving our profits. So, is there anything else I want to connect up? I could get to Cardiff. I mean, Cardiff will pay us a little bit for getting there. We could go through Bath. Bath is a little bit bigger than Gloucester, so... How hard would it be to make this turn and this couple little bridges to get over? It's not cheap. It's definitely not free. Okay, what if we do one bridge first? Why did they double that track there? What are they trying to do? They're trying to not let me make my bridge? Hold on. Just make me a bridge. There's a bridge there, I saw it. Where'd my bridge go? Maybe I should start from like here. 
just make a little bridge there. And oh, I saw it. It had basically what I wanted to do there for a second. Okay, let's make that little bridge. Where'd it go? Come on, make me that little bridge. Yeah, that's the stuff. And then make me another little bridge here. Yeah, right here. No, 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 the little one. The one that goes on the south side. Like that. Oh, that was, that's going to be too tight a turn, though. Shoot. Maybe I have to go that way around. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? The spiral track? Okay, we'll go up that way. And then you'll connect up, right? That is actually connected. Pretty sure that's a connection. Okay, good. So then all we gotta do is get this one down to Cardiff. It's not too hard. Alright. And I'll give them a medium station. That's fine. Bath does not have access to anything nice. Uh, I'll give them some water and stuff here, I guess. Yeah, that train does connect. It looks weird there. It looks like it almost doesn't work, but I think we'll be fine. You know what? I'll just put the maintenance over here. Add my train. Cardiff to Bath Junction. There you go. Alright, so we should have got 300,000 for connecting that at some point. Whatever. It wasn't the most great profit, but it connects up more stuff. I like having lots of connections. Okay, so what are we looking at? Uh, financially, we're doing pretty strong. We've got lots of shares to still buy because it keeps splitting. Buy a whole bunch ourselves. Hopefully not go bankrupt. And then we're going to use the company money to buy a bunch back. Spending that company money. I don't know, maybe at this point I should just start saving up to buy the competition out. I don't know. I just want to have 100%, or as close to 100% as I can get personally. So we're going to do that first. How much time do we have left, by the way? I don't want to wait, run out of time. 14 years. I've still got 20 years left, right? Yeah, no, 11 years, not quite 20. 11 years is lots of time. In fact, you know, according to this, they didn't even have the Edinburgh to London route until 80, so 62 anyway. So I'm kicking butt on that one. All right, let's just speed some time through quick. Boom times, good. I like the sounds of boom. I like the boom. Just keep buying stock until it's all gone. It's just going to go up. It's nothing to worry about. Buy it all. With a boom time coming up, it's going to be fine, I'm sure. Number 10. You keep buying it up, we're just going to buy all the stock. Buy it all. We're totally fine. 38,000 to go. I want to hit that before we split. That's my plan. I got another amazing performance. Yeah, look at that. This company is doing so good. Way better than the competition. Alright, we can buy maybe down to 20 left and then the company can handle the rest. Actually, let's have a nice even 500k. Company can buy the rest. How much is left? 7,000. Come on, company. You can do it. Come on, make some money. Trains! I want to finish this off quick before we hit a $100 share price. 5,000 to go. I think we got it. There we go. Okay, good. I am now the vast majority owner. Sir John Forrest does own a little bit of the company, but nothing compared to me. I'm going to use that to uh, now abuse it and change the dividend so that I'm paying myself out, I don't know, 300000 a year. It'll still take forever to pay off all my debts, but it should be fine. The dividends also help keep the share price up, I believe, if I remember correctly. <laughs> the dividend per share kind of thing. Which is actually still quite low, technically. Alright, that should turn around. I know we bought a lot of stock, which sort of lowered the short-term price. Long-term, it'll keep improving, I'm pretty sure. So now we need to worry about these other companies. This guy is not doing so well. His company is going down the tubes, I think. This one's holding steady. So let's see, this is the Bath Northern. If I wanted to merge with them, how much would it cost? Not as much 
not even close to as much as it used to. If I could buy, I wonder if I could just buy them out. Salary remains the same. We didn't really do anything that year. No big deal. We just did stocks. Oh, they're just tanking. How's their, wait a second, hold on. How's their, what is their company doing? Uh, Bath Northern. Oh, you guys are done. They are done. They're making no money. Their company is about to go under. I think that's because of us. We put too many roots in to compete with them. These guys are still doing, well, they had one year negative, but they're not doing very good. Um, yeah, we're, 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 we got them. We got them, guys. Let's do this. Let's maybe wait one more year um, just to make sure my own personal money is doing good. Yeah. Like to get all the way up into proper boom. We're still only... Actually, we are in pr proper boom. 5%. Amazing. Ah, barracks. Don't care. It's going to be hard to buy out the uh, Liverpool-Manchester route. That much is sure. These guys, though, with the share price dropping, I mean... Oh, no. Look at this. Technically, he has a majority now. So I can't even buy these guys out. We have to compete them down to bankruptcy. So that he sells his out because he loses all his money. How's he doing here? No, he can't because he hasn't been buying on margin like me. AI is kind of smarter like that. Hmm. So how am I going to get rid of this guy? I mean, maybe he'd be willing to sell if I offered him enough, but uh, that's tough. Okay, what's about this one? Oh, I can't buy either of these out. Never mind. My grand plan is foiled. They did the same thing I did, except with their lousy companies. I could buy out the last little bit, but... Huh. Interesting. I mean, I could buy out a fair... I could buy the last 32k out of this pretty easily. My company's not quite... Actually, holy smokes. Hold on a sec. Well, another year done quick there. Cut my salary. What? Well, my trains definitely did not do as well last year. This year as last year. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Seeing as you're going to be like that and give me a salary cut. Well, I know what I can do about that. We're going to just pay myself some more money. The company's got lots of money. We'll pay myself $2 million a year. Let's just wait a year. See how it looks after that. <laughs> if they if they cut my salary by fourteen thousand, I'll just cheat it. I'll wait one year and then I'll get serious about buying out the AI. It'll just help my stock value because I'm not doing super good on on purchasing power at the moment. I mean, four million is almost enough to buy their company out personally, I guess. I mean, I could try. Okay, one thing I did just remember is that the mergers, if they fail, uh, you have to wait a full year. So let's try to buy out Bath right now. We'll do maximum loan, maximum uh, price. We'll see if we go through. Okay, so he decided that that was worth it because he knew his company sucked. Normally, uh, normally you don't see him actually voting for it, unless that was the other guy. I haven't really been paying attention. Okay, Isambard wanted to sell. Forrest did not. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance here anyway. Um. Who owns which company? I never really got that started. Isambard wanted to sell. I got all his stock. It must have been his company. Where's the easy way to decide this? Let's look at the ledger maybe. I think... Forrest must... Yeah, he, he must be the one that owns Liverpool and Manchester. So we just basically bought him out. Okay, no problem. That's fine. 24 minutes in. Do you think we can buy the other guy out? Now, the one thing is, we actually own double routes through a lot of this stuff. Um, what, what I guess I could do is upgrade my trains. All of his trains, technically. Any, any of his trains that are not my style. Fireflies. He still has some fireflies. Let's upgrade them to Cramptons. Because we only, we only believe in Cramptons here. Um... He will have added a lot of roots to our to our lines. What's this one? How come you have no sand or anything? Cambridge to Kingston? Is that one of his roots? Probably. No, it's six. I like the six car ones. Cambridge to Kingston. Is there not a, a sand route on there somewhere? A service station? 
Maybe I forgot the station. No, it's right there. Well, I'll put a service tower on this side too, just to be nice, I guess. Seeing as it's... Obviously, there's a shortage. Put it right there. Alright, um... I don't know where his roots fit in, honestly. Like, how they organize them. Maybe he names them? I don't know, that's probably mine, Dundee and Edinburgh. Cardiff. That's mine for sure. Yeah, I don't know how they organize them. I should have got all of his trains. I certainly have all of his track. Which is good in one sense, because it means that this guy will have to pay now to use even more of the world. He didn't actually build a lot of, of track himself, so let's just keep it going. Maybe we'll be okay. We won't, have to, we won't have to play around too much. How much has he got in his? He has basically bought it all. Now he's we stopped him from getting 100% anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that earlier, I don't know. I was just trying to buy my own company out. Which is not even doing all that great, according to the uh, stock market. Hope I don't... Hope the stock never d dips down below the cash. Well, I wonder if my uh, dividend is too much. The thing is, I don't want to go bankrupt here at the end. So we'll, we'll give it a couple years. It'll pay off some more of my money, my loans. The stuff I bought on margin. Because I'll be making two million a year, I believe. Or at least, if come on! Quit crashing. Man, these trains just breaking down everywhere. Okay, once we hit the end of the year, I'll have a look at some of those stats. Try to get an idea of what's going on. We've got just too many, too many routes now. It takes forever to go through them all. Wow, they're not happy. We're definitely not making as much money. I mean, we just bought one of the competition out. Uh, the other guy is not doing that great either. At least compared to us, he's doing miserable. Um, train list. Some of these are not making money at all. There's still fireflies. Have I not replaced them? This must have been the new trains. Oh, that's his train. Oh, right. I was looking at the wrong page. On my train list. Yeah, my trains are all making money, making money. A couple were not making money. Maybe because I just got them. Newcastle on Tyne. Should be making money between those two, you'd think. Um, what else do we got here? We're definitely at the point where micromanagement gets to be ridiculous. Some of them are not going very fast either. What's my average? My average is fine though. Okay, no problem. I was a little bit worried there that I saw some low speeds. Okay, we've got seven years to put the last guy out of business. Um, the company makes... Lots of money. I mean, technically... I wonder where the uh, the money I took out of it comes out. Um, the shareholders. It's, it's not overhead, I don't think. Miscellaneous costs. Maybe it comes out of the net profit still after that. Maybe that's... So maybe my 2 million actually turns this into 1.3 of company money. That'd be sad. At least I'm making money off this guy. He has to pay me to, to use his. And he won't make any revenue off of anyone using his anymore, I hope. Well, I'd have to maybe, maybe I'd have to change the roots from the guy I got. Ah! It's at the point of being too much hassle. Too, too much trouble for what it's worth. Only one train, couple, one train needs oil. Right, it is a long route, I guess. Oh, you know what? It doesn't actually go to the station. It doesn't actually go to the oil thing. There we go. That'll fix that. How's my personal dude doing? We're doing okay. Five million pr purchase power. I mean, I could make an offer. Uh, how much is this going to cost? A lot. Wow. That's going to be really difficult. Unless I can put this guy even more out of business. I mean, shoot, how am I going to do this? This guy is still making money, unfortunately. I need to, like, cut his down even more. Okay, let's see. You can see what his tracks are. He's got Liverpool and Manchester. We're going to add another one right between those two. On our side. On the junction side. And we're just going to... We're going to... This is probably not going to make us hardly any money at all. But if it costs him money, that's what counts. He also uses 
the Liverpool to Birmingham because he's got that route. So we're going to add another train on that as well. Birmingham Junction, technically, to Liverpool Junction. And we're just going to try to steal away his profits as much as possible. So that should compete with his. He also owns the... He's got a Birmingham-Northampton route and a Birmingham to Oxford route. I can't really compete with that unless I add another line in. I could add another Birmingham to Northampton line, though. Birmingham Junction to Northampton Junction. It's not going to make a lot of money, like I said, but it should just compete with him. Hopefully dip his profits down a little bit lower. I could also connect up Nottingham, whatever. I'm not really feeling like building more tracks right now. And we do a lot of business through Oxford on our own already. Hmm, boom failing. Interesting. He has got a lot of money that I don't have. In fact, his purchasing power is actually higher than mine, oddly enough. Bastard. My cash should turn around, though, if I keep getting my, uh, my money through, uh, through my shares. My uh, dividends, that's the one. Pretty sure that's 2 million going almost directly to me every year. Pretty sure that's how it works. They keep cutting my salary. We're making, we made more money. Look at that, 50% impro improvement from the year before and they cut my salary. He's making less. We'll give it a year or two with my extra trains. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really played with all of the trains that I got from the other from the bath company, unfortunately. Just just too much fiddling around. Too much fiddling around. Could add another Oxford to London route. That might get everything out of Oxford, honestly. Yeah, let's do that. We'll add Oxford Junction to London. Let it go. Just to help move things so that he can't move them himself. And there's definitely not anywhere for that to have been repaired. Uh, you know what needs to happen? The north side of London needs to have some maintenance facilities itself. So many trains go through here. Of course I can't easily. It's that stupid bridge in the way. Still can't even get everything. Whatever, that'll just do for now. <sighs> okay, we got lots of money. We're doing pretty good. We'll see how it looks at the end of the year. I just want to finish this, this episode. We're basically at the end. I hate two things. I don't like having to fiddle with the, the uh, stocks so much. I don't like having to buy out enemy companies. It's just a pain. Their stock is definitely going down, though. How's mine doing, by the way? Mine's holding steady, which is good enough. It went so high because I bought it all out. And then it just dipped down to average. Got another cut, whatever. Hold on. I am personally... Yeah, I must have made 2 million last year, so we're good. We'd be good. Eventually, I'd have tons of money. <laughs> I think I don't even need that dividend right now, because I can't... You know what? That is silly. I'm paying myself out money that I could be using to buy out that enemy company. We'll give myself a little bit of money. 250 is fine. Um, I don't think I'm in any risk of going bankrupt now. He, though, he actually is in slight risk. Let's see. How much, how much time have I got left here? I've got till... I've got five years left. All right. Two more years till Edinburgh and London were supposed to be connected. How's his company looking for mergers? Actually, it's gone down. It used to be a lot higher than four million for a minimum. Um, you know what? Let's let's make an offer. Let's give him the minimum offer. Let's see if he takes it. The last guy took it, the first one I did, so. No. So he did not like that offer. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make another offer till a year later. Next year, I'll make a better offer, I guess. Although it'll be a recession, so maybe it'll be easier. I mean, look at that. I think all those trains I added are starting to kick in. Watch his stock plummet. That'll make buying it cheaper. Actually, that's good. Just save up some money, let his shares go way down in price, and then we'll be good. Just wait a year out, we'll be fine. Yeah. 
Does that make sense? As long as I don't go bankrupt. Hopefully I'll be okay. I do have 10 million in debt. <laughs> a little bit insane. Our company's doing okay. His company has got a more steeper downward line. Share price is not doing so well. What month did I attempt the last merger? I can't remember when it was. I assume it was January or February or something. Our company's making lots of money at the very least. Just listen to the music. Enjoy the little tune. <laughs> yeah, it's been a year. It hasn't been a year yet. I can make quite a lot of money issuing stock if I really wanted. But I mean, okay, the other thing is I can take a bunch of bonds, or I could have taken a bunch of bonds to help pump up my uh, purchasing value. Yeah, they keep cutting my salary, whatever. I pay myself out of the company anyway. I don't need a salary anymore. It's a boom, or it's a recession anyway, so of course we're not making a lot of money off of stuff. Only, oh, I actually had a loan. I forgot about that. Oh, there. Now I got no loans. Oh, his company is going down, I bet you. You know, is, is he actually losing now? He did lose money. See, I bet you all of my competition lines has really cut into his profits. I bet you that's what it is. I can afford it to have some cheap lines that don't make a lot of money. He cannot. So the longer this goes on, I mean, I've got five years. He's got no chance. We've, we've run him out of business, I think. He's losing money now, so what's he going to do, right? What's he going to do when his share hits, like, zero? I would like to make the purchase before um, the economy turns around, though. I'll let you keep using your booth. That's fine. Are we at merger time? We are at merger time. So, look at this. Just in a year, his minimum share price has gone from like four and a half million to two. Let's just offer him slightly more than last time. Although it's now double his share, and that should be. Oh yeah, he took it. He knew he was done. All right, we got it. Competition. The AI can't handle it once you start putting extra trains on the same route. Awesome. Good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll keep playing for just a second. Um, yeah, at this point, if you just wanted to, if I continued on, I'd delete a bunch of tracks so we didn't have doubles and uh, maybe connect up the rest of the cities. But yeah, I, I feel like that was a pretty successful run. We definitely made a lot of money early on through London and Portsmouth and various things. And uh, it is still slowly coming back to me how to compete with the AI. Like, these parallel routes really, I think, killed him. I mean, you saw, right? His, his share value. Can't even see the company anymore, but it just plummeted. Just like this direction of this line here. Just like that, his graph for his share value just went down. And we've got so much money in the company, uh, I could build up like crazy, connect everywhere. Or I could just become very, very rich. And that's what you would do in real life. Once your company had a complete monopoly, you would just pay yourself like, well, maybe three million a year or so. Pay off your loans in three years. I think I could do that actually. I won't run it out for too long, but we'll just see. I, took, I put it up to 3 million a year. Let's see if this goes way down in uh, in January or something like that. I'm not sure when you get your payout. If it's like every month. Like that was 700,000 there actually, I think, right? So maybe it's just every month you get 3 million divided by 12. Maybe that's how it works. Let's see, October, yeah. Did it go down? November, 10,002, 10.2. I don't really care about you, dumb freeze. 10.2 and it switches to December. Does it go down? Yeah, it went down. So every month I'll be getting whatever. 3 million divided by 12. It's pretty good. There we go. It didn't go down for January though. I can lose my salary. See, I don't even care. 28,000 a year is nothing compared to what I'm making now. Why do I have a firefly? Oh, right, the new guy. Yeah, I forgot to upgrade all his. Not like it matters. So yeah, it actually, in, in three years, I would have basically paid off all my loans just by doing that. And then I'd just become super, super, super rich and evil. F siphoning out all the company's money like this. I don't even care if they lower my salary like that. Lower my salary to 28k. You guys suck. Look at that. The company can afford 3 million a year. Could afford more than that. Sort of. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm done now. This is pretty good. One more month. One more tick. I actually went up that time. I must, 
I must be paying interest on my loans even or something like that. Or maybe it's just like... Oh, that's a cool one. I haven't seen that guy before. That's a, that's a good replacement for the boothmouth. Boot, or the booth, sorry. So if you looked at our trains here, replace all booth with Farley's. I bet you they are just flat out better. Well, actually, maybe not. It's very, very slow. It doesn't have a good speed, but on the steep hills with eight trains. So it's, you'd have to think about where you wanted this guy, the Farley, fairly. On eight cars, super steep, it's almost as fast as one car. So you want always to have eight cars, I'm sure, and use it on the steep lines. But it still would have to compete. Like, it, it wouldn't be as fast as a, a five car, well, it'd be about the same as five car, 4%. Maybe a little bit faster, I guess, technically, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I think that's good for now. Just messing around, making a little bit of money. I wonder if you actually pay l interest on your debt, or if it's just based on what your... No, it's cash, so my cash shouldn't change based on my stock value. It should just be maybe I pay a little bit every month on in, uh, in interest, and then I make a whole bunch of money in dividends. <laughs> anyway, it's been fun. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm taking a break for a few days between Railroad now, and uh, next time we'll try another mission. So have a great day, and see you next time.